subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Resource groups are a fundamental element of the Azure platform. A resource group is a logical container for resources deployed on Azure. These resources are anything you create in an Azure subscription, like, virtual machines, or application gateways. All resources must be in a resource group, and a resource can only be a member of a single resource group. Many resources can be moved between resource groups, with some services having specific limitations, or requirements to move. Resource groups can't be nested. By placing resources of similar usage, type, or location, you can provide some order and organization to resources you create in Azure. If you delete a resource group, all resources contained within are also deleted. Resource groups are also a scope for applying role-based access control permissions. Resource groups can be created by using the following methods. When creating a new Azure resource, there are typically three steps. 1. Connect to your Azure subscription. 2. Create the resource. 3. Verify that creation was successful. Let's see how to create a resource group using CLI. 1. Connect. Since you're working with the local install of the Azure CLI, you'll need to authenticate before you can execute Azure commands, by using the Azure CLI login command. 2. Create. You'll often need to create a new resource group before you create a new Azure service, so we'll use resource groups as an example to show how to create Azure resources from the CLI. 3. Verify. For many Azure resources, the Azure CLI provides a list subcommand to view resource details. Let's see how to create a resource group using Azure Portal. 1. Open a web browser, and sign into the Azure Portal. 2. On the Azure Portal menu, or from the home page, select, Create a Resource. 3. Type Resource Group in the search box, and hit Enter. 4. The first item in the list, should be the Resource Group Resource. Select it, and then, select the Create button. 5. Enter your Resource Group name. Select the subscription, and select the region. Then select Review, plus Create, and then Create, to create the resource group. Tags are name value pairs, of text data, that you can apply to resources, and resource groups. Tags allow you to associate custom details, about your resource. A resource can have up to 50 tags. Azure Policy is a service you can use to create, assign, and manage policies. These policies apply and enforce rules that your resources need to follow. These policies can enforce these rules when resources are created, and can be evaluated against existing resources to give visibility into compliance. RBAC provides fine-grained access management for Azure resources, enabling you to grant users the specific rights they need to perform their jobs. RBAC is considered a core service and is included with all subscription levels at no cost. Using RBAC, you can 1. Allow one user to manage VMs in a subscription, and another user to manage virtual networks. 2. Allow a database administrator group to manage SQL databases in a subscription. 3. Allow a user to manage all resources in a resource group, such as VMs, websites, and virtual subnets. 4. Allow an application to access all resources in a resource group. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel 